Treasures, Brad. Hello everyone, this is Chance, back again with part 2 of my Misery 2.1 walkthrough. And here we are picking up where we left off, about to start the Strange Artifact quest for Beard. Just switch my weapons around. Shotgun is definitely going to come in handy. Um, the way I used to do this before was I would actually go back to the zombies and hunt a few of them down with my knife just to collect some weapons and hopefully a shotgun um, that I could use for this next quest. But the problem with that is any weapons that the zombies are carrying are not only um, corroded or worn, they're also very, very low uh, condition rating, um, <clears throat> which means about every other shot you jam up. So that becomes kind of a big deal in this next part. At least with the shotgun that I found in the stash, it's reliable, it's going to shoot when I want it to shoot, and it means that there's going to be a whole lot less uh, reloading and doing this part over and over again. It's already bad enough without any armor. Um, you're going to die at least a few times, um, there's just no avoiding that. But at least with a reliable shotgun you could take them down when you pull the trigger and not have it lock up on you and then get shot in the face. So I'm going to save it right here. Um, I'm going to be saving a lot more frequently with this playthrough because usually without any armor you're going to be dying um, at least a few times every time you encounter an enemy. So if you're facing a bunch of enemies in a row, like this time I'm going to be facing three of them, um, your odds get less and less likely after each encounter that you're going to survive. So Right now I am using some of my tobacco to try to minimize the uh, radiation that I get. Um, unfortunately it's not going to make much of a difference when I, once I pick up the artifact because I have no real artifact containers. So there we go, and come out the back. Instead of walking right outside this entrance, you kind of want to look out around the corner and then just take that guy out. Because he's going to try and uh, bully you into giving him your artifact that you just grabbed. So it's just better just to avoid the dialogue and take him right out. There's a second guy around that corner. And the third guy is going to be in this hut. And there he is. So that looks very simple, but that was probably my fourth or fifth try before I actually got all three of those guys without taking much of any damage. So thanks to the miracles of editing, um, you guys don't have to sit and watch me try this over and over and over again unsuccessfully. You can get a good idea of how it's done without actually having to sit and wait for me to get it right myself. save it here and at this point um, my health is going slowly down because of the radiation from the artifact so I'm just gonna really have to hightail it and run as fast as I can back to the Skadovs. Luckily there's not many mutants around at this point, but it's always a danger when you're running back and forth is a pack of pseudo dogs or you know, fleshes and boars may may not be that much of a danger, but they could be in packs. Um, bloodsuckers, cats, those can all be pretty deadly.
And here I am, back on the Skadosk. So I'm going to unload this artifact as fast as I can. I only get about 4,000 rubles for it, which isn't that much at all, but it's better than nothing. I'm also going to unload the rest of my cigarettes. Um, some uh, zone-made vodka that I picked up, I think. And any animal parts. <clears throat> As you can see, my health is about 30% oh, right now, so I definitely lost a lot just from the radiation alone. I'm just going to go ahead and have the medic remove the radiation as fast as I can. Now here I'll be kind of looking around at my stuff and going back and forth to the traders and uh, selling things so uh, if you guys want to skip ahead I'd recommend skipping to about ooh, the 12 almost 13 minute mark and uh, it's about when I'll be wrapping up here and, and heading back out uh, but if you want to watch you feel free to uh, maybe you'll get some idea of things you should keep and things you should sell and also what you should prioritize as far as purchases. slowly building up my wealth. Um, you can see I'm almost at 20,000 rubles. And uh, Sunrise suit that uh, is going to probably be my first priority as per far as purchases is I, I believe about 40,000 rubles. Uh, give or take about 5,000. Like my last video, I had to uh, keep the game sound on this part as low as I could go, so I I don't get any uh, don't get flagged for copyright infringement. One key difference between this pit playthrough and the the playthrough that I did as a, a sniper. Um, which is my playthrough before this one. Uh, I didn't record any of that. I probably should have, but... Um, I just wanted to test the game out and see how stable it was, see if it was worth my interest in, in recording these videos and, and doing uh, tips and, and uh, giving players sort of an idea of how to survive. Um, but the key difference between my previous playthrough and this one was that I, in my previous playthrough, I, I kept a lot more weapons and ammunition, and um, pretty much any ammunition, any grenades, any items that would help me repair above four or five percent, uh, any medical uh, items, I, I kept. And I kept all the weapons kind of just as a OCD sort of collector, pack rat um, sort of instinct. And I think in this game I'm not going to do that so much. I'm going to sell as much as I can and, and get the items that I need as fast as I can so that it, you're not watching me sort of run around killing things for a couple hours uh, trying to get unnecessary equipment. <clears throat> 
Now here what I'm doing is I'm getting on top of the ship and I'm trying to reach a stash that's, uh, that's up there. And it's part of uh, these stashes that are hidden in, in Misery that I don't believe were included in the original game called Aloon's Stashes, Aloon's Journals. <clears throat> Each stash has a journal page for, from Aloon um, that provides some sort of a rhyme or hint as to where the uh, other stashes are. And one of the easier ones to get to is this one on top of the ship, but it just takes some tricky jumping. It's especially tricky as an assaulter class where your your jumping and your running isn't isn't as great. And there we go. About time. So here's the first Alloon stash. And obviously it's not incredible. There's some useful uh, radiation medicine and maybe a bottle of liquor, bag of food, but nothing, uh, nothing game breaking yet. Certainly is useful. Every little bit counts. The more food you can find, the less you have to buy, which is probably a plus as an assaulter class, because from what I read, it uh, you get hungry a lot more often. Your metabolism is a lot, a uh, lot higher. I'm going to go ahead and start this next quest from Grouse, and it's the Bloodsucker uh, slash detective quest where you're trying to figure out why all these stalkers are going missing. And Grouse's theory is that it's bloodsuckers, but he needs to find the lair. So I'm going to save at this point. Now, if you're new to Call of Pripyat, if uh, you haven't played this before, and you're not really sure where to go. Um, you may want to pay close attention to, to where I'm headed uh, in this video because at this point you haven't bought a universal power device yet and you have no PDA to sort of look to where you need to go. And of course there's no mini map with little arrows on it telling you which way to head. So um, pretty much I'm doing this by memory. Uh, I know where I need to go and I, I kind of remember how to get there. Um, I'm going to come up here and take a detour and uh, grab another stash or two that's over here near these cranes. Luckily there's no bandits and no mutants shooting at me yet. <clears throat> or attacking me. So I'll stop here and uh, save, and then I'm going to detour over there to the left.
Now I know there's at least two stashes over here near this crane, and I couldn't quite remember where exactly they were, but I thought there was more than one up here um, on the cranes themselves. But as I look around and I try to find both of them, I only really see one. Which is over here. Uh, <clears throat> sort of this in this narrow area between the two parts of the crane. But it's a tricky jump to get to. But uh, there they were. That side has a ladder, but unfortunately you can't reach the goods from from the left side, only from the right side. Here I am trying to remember whether or not there's a second stash. I was almost positive there was a way to get over to that second crane from the first, but the more I look around, the more I see that it's pretty hopeless. So I give up. No ladders on this crane. <clears throat> There's one more stash you're going to want to grab down here um, on one of these abandoned boats. Call of Pripyat and in Misery, uh, the first Misery, not Misery 2.0, you actually got pretty decent weapon right there. So they, <clears throat> I guess the creators figured that that gave you a little bit too much of an advantage and it was too, <clears throat> too close to the Skadovsk and so they removed it and now it's just a few, uh, it's like some gold teeth and a and a mine comp. <clears throat> I actually died over here once or twice because there's a pack of dogs chasing some flushes, and I kind of have to take a wide arc around them. You can see the flesh there. I know the dogs are close, so I sort of back away and go a long way around. Luckily they're too distracted hunting the flushes to actually come after me. distracted with each other.
Dogs aren't very good with obstacles, so if you get something between you and them, it can often be pretty life-saving. Um, even getting up on a rock, they usually aren't very good at climbing up on things. So, if you see a pack of dogs and you're near a large boulder, just try to get up on it. And you may be able to pick them off one at a time. Coming in here to grab this stash. It's also a good place to run to if uh, there's an emission and you're nearby. Um, I believe that little nook under that rock will uh, keep you safe from an emission. So this point near the pine anomaly up here is going to trigger the next part of the quest and I'm going to go ahead and save it and uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.